Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. What it do, what it do, what it do, man. This is the one and only as a car bringing you flame. You already know. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell. You be left in the loop every time your boy drop that work. You feel me? Shout out to the black YouTube out there. Big Brother Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown, The League Attorney, JR Wisdom, Mr. Palmer, Too Raw for Sports, Too Raw for TV, Kick It with Mr. Mars, LC Predator Catcher, JD Black, Tariq Nasheed, Dr. Umar Johnson, ISUPK, NOI, holding it down on these platforms. The minister been holding it down. On these platforms, Corey Holcomb, Kevin Samuels, you already know the business, holding it down on these platforms, homie. This channel is prescribed for the black man and the black woman in the hills of North America, going through the struggle, going through the grind, getting it out the mud, cream. Always, and I mean always, rise to the top. Enjoy the video. What's up with it, peace, man? This is the one and only. The one and only. You know the business, man. Man, it is Sunday. Um, it's the 23rd of June. I predicted it to be another hot day here when I'm, when I reside in the dirty, dirty. I mean, it's extremely hot. Yesterday it was, oh my God, it was unbearable. Uh, I was having car problems. I thought my car was fixed. Got it out. Drove it around about 30 minutes. <clears throat> Realized I had to take it right back to the shop. Well, I'm telling you, it's always something. But if you keep God first, you keep a nice spirit and that level-headed, man, you can make it. You can make it in the world that's as decadent as this one. This world is crazy. People are crazy. Situations are crazy. And you, people who you think got your back like a sumo, they don't have your back. I mean, you know, uh, people who you thought that was upright or had a vertebrae, they, they don't have them. And sometimes you think you do that song. What's that song? Second time around. You know how you try to give somebody a second chance in a relationship just to see where it can go, where it can lead to, and what it possibly can be. Or maybe it was meant for you to go out and find, try to find other things that made you lead back to this and made you uh, appreciate your, your, your past relationships with that in individual. But my man, damn boy, my man Ben Affleck, Ben, if you're looking at this video, man, I don't know if it's made out of platinum. I don't know what she got on you, cuz. But you need to let you need to let her go. Let that thing go. When your friend tell you ain't all that, it, 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 it's just time to go. It's time to go. And we're going to cook on some more of that when I return. So we can cook this hibachi on this video. We'll be right back. Now your uncle, aunt your mama. Probably told you about aunt your mama. How she was an ex-slave. Mammy that Chris was born. There's a lot more brands we should pull up for. Like, what about Uncle Ben? Remember called them uncle? Because slaves couldn't be called mister. Watch this picture on the front of the cream of wheat. But what about the worst of all? KFC, Colonel Sanders made a fortune, killed it after he stole a recipe from a slave, Miss Childress. Gave her 1200 out of the billions of his worth, then became a sugar daddy for Miss Butterworth. It's more to be exposed out here. I mean, look at the clothes we wear. Allegedly, Nordic composed the slave ships he was brung on. The tree on your pair of Thames is what we was hung on. And the low gold that's been embroidered on Levi's. Two horses ripping a slave from each side. Could it be propaganda or could it be facts? Wait, I get deeper than that. I think you need to let it go. 
looks like another little TKO. Let that thing go, Ben, man. Check this out. This is one little arc right here. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's 60 million mansion has turned a nightmare into a nightmare, man. I'm going to show you a picture of it, I guess. Looks straight to me, but ain't no telling. You know, if you're used to living that type of lifestyle, you know what's normal and what's not. <laughs> and he said it's an ugly reminder of their failed relationship. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, man. Boy, that's hard. That's hard. Oh, uh, man. It's like it's right here. Men know when it, it ain't working. And, you know, sometimes that's the nature of man. He wants to. And some men don't want to be dogs. Don't have the dog very the hard to let them hold. No, hey, get the fuck on out. You ain't, no, you ain't good for me. You get to roll. But some got a heart. Some just try to make a square go inside a circle. And it just don't work. It don't work like that. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are eager to get rid of their formal love nest. They had a career they want to get rid of, but I know it's some, it's some oogly woogly somewhere. According to Insiders, the Selena actress, who's 54 years old, and the Argo actor, Batman, who's 51, seems to be near the end of their marriage after putting 60 million mansion, 60 million mansion on the market, which they only purchased one year ago. One year ago. So that's just sixty million dollars gone. She ain't all that anyway, man. See, Kevin Samuels is right. He should listen to Kevin Samuels. Mr. Afflack. Mr. Afflack. You should have listened to Kevin Samuels, Mr. Afflack. Hold on one second. Let me let me get this thing adjusted right, man, because I don't want this camera to shut off on me. Don't want the camera shut off on me. But that's that's real though, man. Brother, brothers wanted to dog out Kevin Samuels at first. But now they see he about that truth. And he was about that life. And he ain't doing nothing but expose these three old foes. They ain't no good. They ain't no good. Though Ben and J Lo aren't saying anything public about their status, they're dividing up assets, jewelry, cars. Uh, properties, a source claim. The mansion which she called her dream home has turned into a nightmare. Ben was always on the fence about such a uh, over-the-top house, but Jennifer pushed him into it. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? You're dealing with them old 304s. They would try to control and dictate everything. It ain't worth it, man. It ain't worth it. And then this homeboy, uh, 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 what's his homeboy name? Uh, Matt Damon, I believe. He tell her, man, this bitch ain't no good, man. He just get along nice. It's making division in their relationship. And I hate to see good, good good dudes go through shit, man. But sometimes you can just be a dummy. And he was a dummy for her. Still been and lost 60 million, man. 60 million for nothing. Man, you could have gave me some that cheese. Ben, if you listen to, this, listen to me right now, you see this video, man, leave that bra. Don't man, block her. Don't see no phone call. Get that bitch what she need. And it was a mistake. And every, every man ain't gonna learn from you. But the thing is, you learn that lesson yourself. Don't go back. I don't give a buck, man. Leave these old, dusty broads alone. Kevin Samuels was right. Long live Kevin Samuels. It is what it is. This is your boy, Moose. Do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Ben, leave that hoe alone, man. Leave that guy alone. Peace. Of teaching them so that one day, when I am no longer physically among you, that the nation will not suffer and lose one step because these young people will step in and carry on the work. If I hear that one of these young men are excelling all women in the teachings, I rejoice. Because that means some burden is being taken off of my shoulder. When Elijah Muhammad 
saw all of the good coming to Malcolm, he rejoiced. But then inside of him, he wondered, can Malcolm handle praise? Will the praise that he's getting from the people turn him? Any teacher would worry about a student who is becoming strong and powerful. You're not envious. You are cautious and you are observant of that student because once you stop making a student powerful, the next thing you got to ask is, where will he take the people when you are no longer there? to know before I leave what kind of man you are. I'm not going to leave here and leave a crooked heart, a devious-minded serpent, or a vain, egotistical madman or woman to stand up over a people that I love. Hell no. No. 